Okay, now I show you how easy we can also configure our Smart Panel or HMI with the Speed 7 Studio. How easy we can synchronize the variables and we bring with a button the motor to rotate from our HMI. Let's get started. I have here my demo project open. Very intuitive, we need to add our HMI. I look here my project tree and I add a new device. Under HMI, you find all our HMI panels. I have here a Movicon panel CE. Okay. And automatically, the wizards are open and you have here project name, folder path, display width and display height. I let it to, to fourth. I have here two kinds of PLC in my project, but I use the second one, the 030. And now you see from unconnected are now connected and I confirm it with time. We can save the project. Yes, uh, we don't start at the moment because we want to synchronize the variables. Very nice. On our project tree, they automatically have here put it our HMI. And now, so that we can synchronize the variables, we need to check the variables under the PLC variable from our Slius PLC. Here we have an overview of all variables. We need here our flag. In my case, the flag are the chalk. This is here. And, and I check it here and I say I want this variable in my Mubicon project. In my case, I want only one variable and I have check it and go directly then to my Mubicon project under HMI Mubicon and here variables. I click variables and start variable table. Double click. Here are HMI variables. We don't have here anything. What we need here is to print select. That means we select here all. And we have a filter with variable table one. Absolutely right. And here the button to synchronize. And automatically from the PLC program synchronize to our Movicon project. That's right. This is one variable. I can save it and Compile. Okay, we don't have an error. After that, I can open directly from Speed 7 Studio my movie con. Double click under movie con open project on our project tree. Okay, now we are in the movie con. You find here in the middle the work area. On the left side, your project explorer. On your right side, the properties and toolbox. On the left corner, the comments, and now we need the first of one, one screen. That means I go to my project explorer, search about screen, this one, and say your right mouse click and add a new screen. Screen one, absolutely yes. Okay, this is a little too big, I can minimize it. So, and this is the screen what we see on our HMI. Okay, this background, I don't like it. I change it to our yes, cover. That means I go here to my background image here, with the three points, double click on this, and under desktop, I have here my yes, cover channel DMC picture. I mark it and say open. Okay, now I have here my yes, cover background. Very nice, after that, Go directly on the right side on the toolbox, basic control, and here my push button. I put it here my push button, okay, that you can see also. And here I mark it and go directly here to my command state variables. And here I can select automatically my synchronized variable from the Speed 7 Studio in the movie code. I mark it, say okay. And this command type are on off. Okay. And after that, we can say here we are finished and we can apply it. Okay, now we have also created 
a little project with our background and also a button. I saved this project. Okay, we have saved the project. After that, we need to check the IP address on our HMI. Okay, I am here now on my HMI. Go here to exit and how else in the laptop? I go here to start settings network connection. Double click on the network card and now you see my IP address of 10.0.0.20. That means I am in the same IP range. I have to also prepare my cable from the HMI to my CU PLC. Tuck, I also connect and you can close everything that are open from window. Okay, now we have closed. Okay, go back to my software, Mubicon software. We have saved it and after that we can transfer this little project in our smart panel. I go here on the left side under the commands, here on the left corner, I click here. So I upload now my project, appears our window, upload, yes, the folder, yes. Now they upload the project. Now I can start the device. How you see here on HMI, the started device and transfer the project. Now you see the background, our yes cover background and here our button. And now I put the button and how you see after five seconds they rotate the motor and also here 50 Hertz. And we control it now with our HMI. Very simple, very easy in handling and how you see it works.